Welcome to Weld.com. <clears throat> We've done a lot of test procedures, um, groove plate and stuff while we're running downhill. And uh, I'm, I'm testing out a new machine here that I've not run before. It's the Rebel EM215 IC running some 030 wire uh, ER70S6 C25 gas, 75% argon, 25% CO2. And uh, camera guy says, man, you haven't you haven't done much in the way of uphill groove work, so hey, I'm thinking let's just experiment here and and uh, pull the trigger going uphill. Got three sixteenths plate, beveled it to thirty degrees, put a, a good I want to say a fat one sixteenth root face on it, and just shy of three thirty two on the root opening in between sixteenth three thirty two because I kind of want to kind of want to butter this thing in here a little bit and I'll probably point my wire. It's going to be difficult for him to to get here and me be comfortable, but I want to start out and I want to I want to treat the wire pretty much straight in slightly downhill. And I know that sounds kind of weird. Everybody thinks, well, if you're welding uphill, you need to point uphill, and I disagree with that. But again, that's just that's just me. I like to keep that wire down on fresh weld pool. Kind of watch it see it buttering in there if I can get a good root and then I'll, uh, I'll clean it out. Not gonna have room to run stringers, but I'll, I'll run a little weave pass over the top of it. If we get some good results, which I expect we will, we'll, uh, we'll cut and bend one for you, a couple of them anyway, one, one root, one face, or something like that. So, cool product I come up with here. Camera guy juiced me on a Arc-1 safety shield for grinding, and I like that. It's, uh, it's harder plastic, got a good frame to it. It's also got the flip, so I can go direct from the cutting table over here, oxyacetylene with the dark shield, and walk right over to the cooling tank and go directly to the grind table. It saves a little bit of time. I, I just it's comfortable too, so kind of cool. Let me get my uh, let me get my gear on. Be right back, and we'll throw down. Okay, I have uh, I've leaned this up near 90 degrees, close I can get it. We've also positioned the camera back here on the back side so we can get some uh, penetration. I've got my trusty prop here, my fire brick, so that I can oh, I try to maintain the same wire angle straight in, very slightly downhill. All right, let's give this a run here. Couldn't quite maintain that angle all the way up. We do have full pin though. I noticed myself transitioning a little bit, turning my wrist some, but it, it's okay, it went in there. 16.5, uh, running a little low, but again, I'm running the 030 wire on 3 16 material, so, um, you know, as far as the heat value and everything, I'm in there. 160 on the wire feed speed. Uh, I should have glanced over there and caught that amperage real quick. I'm pretty sure it's right around 95 to 100. I would seem to be anyway. I need to uh, I need to touch this with a thin bladed grinder and get the glass out of it. We'll come back and run one more pass. Be right back. Okay, I went ahead and uh, ground this out with an eighth inch blade. One thing I do notice uphill versus downhill roots downhill root lays in nice and flat and you got a little deposit on the sides and obviously I, you know we've been doing demos and procedures on thicker plate but with 316 I noticed that this this filled this groove up a fair amount 
Now, I still had to go in and clean it out, but I've also been able to, in order to get this clean, then I've created a little bit of a, a groove here that's nice and flat, okay? Again, uphill versus downhill. I have room to do one more pass, and I don't, you know, I'm, I'm gonna weave this very little in order to catch the edges, you know. I, you guys know me, I like to weave a fair amount and leave this thing laying in here nice and flat, but may not be able to leave it at the super good profile that we love, that we've known to come to love. All right, so uh, gun angle. Again, I like to go straight in slightly downhill. I dropped the voltage a half of a volt. I'm now at 16.0 and 160, 030 wire. To me, this is looking a little ropey, but I can't do a whole lot about it. I have to run this hot enough to make sure I'm fusing in. If anything, I might be able to slow the wire feed speed down, but to me, that'd make it slobbery and weird. Good crisp spark. I'm liking the liking the sound of this. certainly looked like it was going to come out a lot taller than that. Just under the hood there was something about it that just kind of looked ropey but it's well within the parameters. I'd feel more comfortable doing this on quarter and 5 sixteenths, 3 eighths for sure. And then at that point because of the groove size we might go back to running stringers or uh, doing a two bead cap or something. I don't know. Whip. So let me uh, let me let this cool off a little bit. I'm gonna go slice and dice. I'll do, uh, I'll do one root, one face bend. We'll get some equipment over here and bend this for you real quick. So <clears throat> again, we had uh, 3 16 material, did a little groove weld. Esau Rebel 215 IC. And uh, we're gonna pull a couple of bend tests for you. Prepared some coupons. Uh, this first one is to the face and uh, flush grind, grind parallel with the uh, coupon or perpendicular to the weld, gently radius the edges, whatever. In the past, some people have asked, we pulled some bend tests and they've asked, what equipment am I using? Fisher Engineering model B, uh, BT-1B, it's a half inch capacity bend test. For years, I used the old hand crank a uh, homemade job with the hydraulic jack and it, uh, it worked fine but I just got plumb wore out and uh, so we invested in this. I've taken this various places and and uh, tested welders and stuff. It's just real convenient. Just have to have air. So here we go. Let us pray. Clean coupon. Clean coupon. Again, 
you know, the whole deal was running this for the first time and I ran it down there kind of low because I was on 3 16 groove material going uphill. Okay, if I was going downhill, I would have probably turned it up a fair amount. I probably, I want to say I'd run 17.5 instead of 16.5, probably pushing 18, more gap, more wire and run quicker. Since I was going uphill, you know, you got a common sense to tell you your pool's going to be under a, uh, the effect of gravity. So I cooled it off a little bit, ran it in there, and we came up with good clean coupons here. So any, in any event, not much of a groove, very slight weave uh, on the cap. So again, hey, little experiment, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm playing with this machine and getting to know some numbers here. I see some project work coming up with it. So again, a little bend test on some 3 16 material uphill. Uh, so there's your, there's your demo. I hope this helps. Please subscribe to the videos. Thanks for watching. Oh, oh, well, I got time to go see the makeup lady, don't I? Action. Towel off. Action. Better be in focus. Welcome to Weld.com after hours session here. We're kind of hitting stingers. There's for the camera guy back there chirping, thinking I can't pull this shot off. It's in the hole. It's in the hole. It's in the hole. <laughs> so full of shit.